Now in this first step, what we need to do is basically cut out our main object or objects. So what you want to do is click on select object and you can go through and start left clicking around your object. And what I'm going to do is basically cut out this branch. So I'm just going to quickly add some points over here. And once I'm done, I'm going to connect up all the points to that final point there and we'll create a selection. So I'll quickly go through and add these points. All right, so I'm just going to simply connect that up to create a selection. And as you can see, you've got all the points here and you can make adjustments by simply, you know, dragging them around like so. If you want to add extra points, just simply hold down control on your mouse and left click and you see we can add extra points like that. So it's simply control and then left click to add a point. So go through and create this selection. And once you've created it, you can go through and give it a name. Let's call this one L. And then go on to the next step and we'll start filling in the background. All right, so in this second step, what we need to do is basically fill in this background. And the reason is when we go into the editor over here, um, if we start animating this camera, you'll be able to see that you can see the black background. It doesn't look very good. So we need to kind of clone stamp it uh, to fill it in. So let's go back over to edit image and go to next. And I'm going to click on the start cloning button and I'll bring up the radius quite big of this selection. You can adjust things like the hardness and the opacity depending on the image you might want to play around with those. Um, but what you want to do is basically hold down control to create a selection and left click and it selects this part of the image. And if I move it over like so, um, we can go through and start filling in this picture. So I'm going to go select this here, left click and drag it over a little bit. Maybe select it like so and then you simply, you know, left click to fill it in like so. And you can see it works really well on images like this, it looks really good. Um, when you're first you know, starting out, you want to just you know, have a play around with it first to see how it all works. Um, dep depending on the image, uh, you know, it can be a lot easier as well as you know, also it could be a little bit more tricky. So you want to take a bit more time on those trickier images. Okay? Um, but let's just go ahead and I'll quickly fill this in, just simply making selections. Uh, actually I'll select about here and just kind of you know, adding these um, in like so. Okay, cool. So now that I've gone through and filled in that gap, what we can do is go into the next step and start animating inside the editor. All right, so now that we're inside the editor, we can go through and start animating this image. So if I click on camera over here, and if I just zoom in a bit like so, and start moving it around, you'll be able to see now we've got this really nice looking um, effect, okay? And we can do heaps of things like adding in different text images, we can add particles and things like that. So let's go through and I'll go click onto layers and I'm going to go add some text, so let's just call this one, let's say zoo, and I'll adjust the letter spacing like so. And I'll just position this a little bit smaller, and also I'll add some extra text saying now nah. open. Okay, and I'll bring this down like so, and just zoom in a bit. All right, so I've got some of my text here and I'm also going to go through and add a butterfly. So I'm going to effects and I'll go add this butterfly here and I'll just drag this down and position it on the branch, maybe something like that. Now what we can see, if, if I just go through and show you something, if I go to camera over here, if I move this around, you'll be able to see that the objects are in different um, 3D space, okay? So what we want is this butterfly to be on the same, uh, you know, kind of, access as this branch so that it doesn't look like it's moving around. So if I drag this butterfly and place it just on top of the owl, or you're about to see that we've got it on the branch, and if I move it around now, you can see it's it stayed on the branch like so. If I place it at the back, for example, if I drag this over, you're about to see it's behind now um, the branch. So I shouldn't put it on top like that. Also with the text, I want to bring these into the same kind of alignment like so. And that's looking really good. Cool, so what I'm gonna do is go and reset this camera. And I might just zoom in a little bit. And I'm gonna to go to particles as well and add some particles. So let's go turn on. And I've got this, this uh, leaf selected. And I'm gonna make the leaf a bit bigger. Leaves a bit bigger. And also I might add some blur to them as well. You can adjust things like the contrast as well as the color. So you can you know play around with the color like this. And yeah, that looks quite good as it is. And what we're going to do is just zoom in a little bit more. I'm going to rotate it maybe like this kind of angle and position like so. Okay, so here's my first position. Now what I'm going to do is click on add keyframe. You can also double click to add a keyframe like this. 
or delete it like that but i've got a keyframe i'm going to drag it to about five seconds and now i'm going to set the second position that i want it to end on okay so let's just go in like this and i might just bring it across slightly and also rotate it slightly like so and that's looking quite cool so let's just come in i might also bump up the size of the leaves like that and yeah we've got this coming in from here to here and let's just preview that Okay, that's looking really cool. So we can add another keyframe by clicking on add keyframe and we can set a different position. If we want it to loop, so start from and end in the same position, what you want to do is double click to add that same position keyframe, so then the same position, and then just drag it over here like this and just delete this one. And this will go in and go out and it'll create a really nice looping animation, um, especially if using on social media, you can have it you know, continually looping like that and it's looking really cool so that's how you can go through and you know create some really nice animations uh, yeah have a go and play around with it and once you're ready you can go through and click on publish and select you know where you want to save it to and publish your video so yeah i hope you enjoyed this tutorial make sure to try it out and have fun creating